If you have a slow computer or suffering lag in any of your programs or games, I will show you more than a dozen tips to speed up the performance of your Windows 10 computer. And we're starting right now. In the comment section of just about any computer help forum, the most likely solutions you'll see for a slow computer include people telling you to upgrade your RAM, switch out your hard disk drive for a solid state drive, or get yourself a newer, better computer. While these are all great ways to improve your performance, this video will instead focus on solutions that don't require you to swap out your hardware. These tips will be in a general order of how they appear in settings, the control panel, and other places on your computer. Let's begin by turning off the Windows tips, tricks, and suggestions in settings. If you're new to Windows, left-click the Start menu and select the Settings icon. Go into System, then Notifications and Actions. Here in the right, scroll down to the Notifications section. Click the toggle to turn off, get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. I have found that they're usually not very helpful and will give a slight improvement to performance if turned off. You can turn off these other notifications too if you want. The only ones I keep turned on are show me the Windows welcome experience after updates and get notifications from apps and other senders. If your drives are filled up with files that you no longer need, cleaning them out could give your computer a speed boost. For this one, we'll stay in the system settings and go into storage. In Storage Sense, click the toggle to turn it on. With it turned on, Windows will monitor your system to automatically remove temporary files and other junk files to free up space. If you go into Change How We Free Up Space Automatically, you can change the frequency in which Storage Sense will delete your files. You can also change how often your files are deleted in your Recycle Bin, Downloads folder, and unused content from your computer that is already backed up to OneDrive. Processes downloading updates in the background can have a major impact on performance. One way to reduce that impact is to set your internet connection to metered. From the Settings home screen, go to Network and Internet. From here, depending on your internet connection, select Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Click on the network you're connected to, scroll down to Metered Connection, and turn it on. Doing so will reduce the number of processes downloading updates in the background. In addition to animations, Windows 10 uses transparency effects in the taskbar, action center, and start menu that use up system resources. To turn those off, go to Personalization, click the Colors tab, scroll down to More Options, and switch off Transparency Effects to free up more of your system resources. If you play games on your PC, turning on game mode might help to give you better frame rates and reduce lag. Go to Gaming and select Game Mode. Switching it on will reduce the number of background apps running and prevents Windows Update from performing driver installations and sending notifications to restart. Game Mode can also help out with any other program like Adobe Premiere Pro, which uses GPU acceleration. On newer computers, you may see little to no effect with game mode turned on. On older PCs, game mode just may be the boost you need. Either way, there's no harm in turning it on. When Windows Update is running in the background, installing updates, it can be a resource hog. To free up resources when you're using your computer, go to Update and Security. In the right, select Change Active Hours. It's best to choose a start and end time when your computer is turned on when you know you won't be using it. For me, the start time would be 7 p.m. with an end time of 9 p.m. When you're done, click on Save. For these next few tips, let's minimize settings and go into the control panel. The control panel can still be found by going to Search, typing Control, and selecting Control Panel. One area that can have a huge impact on your computer's performance are the power settings. For this one, select Power Options. Depending on the manufacturer of your computer, you may have different power plans listed. If you're using the Power Saver, you will save on energy at the expense of your computer's overall performance. 
If you want the biggest performance boost, change your power plan to high performance. And if you want to strike the perfect balance between saving electricity and performance, select Balanced, which is still a performance upgrade when compared with Power Saver. This next one is especially important if you have an older computer. Switching off some or all of the visual effects can make a big impact. Go to System. In the left, select Advanced System Settings. In the Advanced tab, click on Performance Settings. Select Adjust for Best Performance. After making the change, this may require some tweaking on your part to get it right for you, as it will alter the appearance of Windows 10. Just come back here to make adjustments as needed. Enabling smooth edges of screen fonts is a good place to start. If your computer has pre-installed software or you have programs you've installed that you no longer use, it's best to remove them from your computer. Not only do they take up valuable drive space that can reduce performance, some will load processes at startup using resources, increasing the time it takes your computer to boot up. Here in the control panel, go to Programs and Features. Click on any program you no longer need and select Uninstall. You may find certain programs or apps that don't show up in the control panel, like those you may have installed from the Microsoft Store. For those, let's go back to Settings. Here in the second row, click on Apps. Go through the list and find a program or app that you'd like to remove. Click on it and select Uninstall. If you have too many programs being launched running in the background when you start your computer, can give your system a sluggish feel. To improve boot times and free up resources, right-click in the taskbar and select Task Manager. Go to the Startup tab. Now you'll see a list of programs and services that launch when you start Windows. To stop any of them from launching at startup, right-click and select Disable. Only disable those services and programs you know you won't need when your computer starts up. If you have indexing enabled on your computer, it makes searching your drives a lot quicker, but does use a lot of system resources. Turning off indexing, especially on low-powered PCs, has been known to increase the overall performance. Go to the search box and type index. Select indexing options. Near the bottom of this window, click on modify. Now just untick all the boxes listed. And OK when you're done. A handy utility that's been in Windows for decades is the Disk Cleanup tool. In the search box, type Disk Cleanup. Click on it. Pick the drive you'd like to clean up. Hit OK. Put a check mark next to the options you'd like to clean up. And when you're ready, select Clean Up System Files. By default, Windows will run a scheduled maintenance of your drives in the background on a weekly basis. During maintenance, people have reported that their systems are less responsive than usual. To change the settings, type Optimize into the search bar. Select Defragment and Optimize Drives. You'll now see the current status of your drives. If your hard disk drive crosses a certain level of fragmentation, it will run Defrag Operations. On solid state drives, trim is used instead. Click on Change Settings. For the next step, only do this if you're having serious performance issues as a result of the scheduled maintenance. Untick the box for Run on a Schedule and click OK. Just remember to come back here periodically to manually optimize your drives. If all else fails, doing a reset on your PC just might be the best option for you to fix a slow computer. Back on the Settings home screen, go to Update and Security. In the left, select Recovery. Here you'll see the option for Reset this PC. You'll have the choice to keep or remove your personal files. As we all know, the Windows 10 updates have been less than perfect over the last few years. So rolling back to a previous version of Windows just might be the fix you're looking for. An advanced startup gives you the option to boot up using a DVD or USB drive. Hopefully these tips helped you out. If they did, give this video a thumbs up. 
If you know of a useful tip to speed up Windows 10 not mentioned, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest tips for Windows 10 and other tech-related stuff from Techumbo.